I want to show you how you can present your Power BI dashboards inside of Dynamics GP 2016. This is a new feature in GP 2016, and it's pretty easy to set up. Basically, what I'm going to do is set up a connection between my Power BI system and my Dynamics GP system for reporting. So it's easy to do. Let's go to the administration area page, and we'll go to the reporting tool setup. Now, you've probably seen the screen before, but we'll go to the Power BI tab here. So there's really only two pieces of information that you'll need. You'll need the Power BI URL. This is a common run here. You can just use that one. And you'll need a client ID. And the next step then is to create that client ID that you can put into this screen. So one way to start is to click on this link here. So this is a Power BI support page, and it tells you the steps to go through to register an app. So what I'm going to do is go to this URL right here dev.powerbi.com slash apps. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. So if you're not already logged in with your Microsoft login, you'll have to log in. I'm already logged in. And I just put the app name here. You can name it whatever you want to. And then this is important. The app type is going to be native app. So when you do that, it makes things a little simpler. The next step is to select a redirect URL. And all I've done is I'll take the URL for the Office 365 login. It's right here on the support page. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. Paste that in. And I'm going to select all these API options right here. So let's do that. And then the next thing I need to do is just hit register app. And then I'll just copy and paste this into my Dynamics GP system. Just paste it in there. And then hit OK. When I first do this, it's going to go and register with Power BI and then bring back the results. So if we go back to the home page, we can click on Customize This Page. You can now see that this Power BI and this option here are lit up. If you click on the blue arrow here, you can then select from your available reports and pull them over to the selected reports, which then are available to be seen on your Dynamics GP 2016 homepage. So I'm going to drill down on this a little bit, and there's one restriction. You can't pull over a whole dashboard they have in Power BI. You have to pull over individual elements of it. So for example, I have this dashboard here, and I've got this one element here. I could just select that and insert it. I might have multiple ones here. I can select multiple dashboards. So here's the dashboard on Power BI. I've got three different elements. I can select any of those elements and choose to have them available for my home page. So that's all I need to do. And then when I hit OK, it'll refresh the home page. And now we'll have those Power BI elements on my Dynamics GP 2016 home page.